In this lesson, I'm going to go ahead and create a PHP page that is not just PHP code, but also integrates some of the HTML structure. And so we're going to be putting in some HTML tags. So to start with, I have my Ubuntu virtual machine here for my web server that I'm going to go ahead and log into so that I can go ahead and edit some files on here. All right, and I can choose to use PuTTY if I wanted to to connect into this machine. The IP address is 192.168.2.114 here on my computer. You can always figure it out on your computer using the if config command and look under the eth0 and my inet address or my internet address is uh, listed there as well. So I can connect into it if I wanted to um, using putty. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And I could log in here. The advantages, as mentioned before in a previous lesson, is that if I use PuTTY, I can copy and paste content into it much easier than I can with VirtualBox's virtual machine here of Ubuntu. So I'll go ahead and log in. I can also do full screen as well. So the choice is either using the virtual machine or using PuTTY. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Because I'm now connected into my machine, I can also full screen this to make it work a lot nicer. So the file that I want to edit is going to be located in the root directory of our web server. So I need to go to cd forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html and go ahead and hit enter. Now if I go ahead and do ls, I have no files currently here. So let's go ahead and create our first file. I'll type in sudo because I don't have permissions in this folder to be able to just create one under my current user account. So I need to run it as a sudo user. And we're going to go ahead and create, uh, using nano as our text editor, echo.php. So this is going to go ahead and open up the nano text editor. And we're going to be working on creating this file called echo.php. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And I need to type in my password. All right, so nano is now opened up here in my text editor. And the file basically is going to start off with um, an opening declaration of our HTML use. And so we're going to go ahead and say doc. We're going to start it off with a exclamation mark um, after the less than symbol and say doc type. And then afterwards, we're going to type in HTML just like that. And that's going to go ahead and start our HTML code. I'll space down a couple. And to close the HTML, we just use a closing HTML tag like this. And that'll go ahead and anything between these two tags, we're kind of just telling the web server and the browser that this is all HTML within here. And then we can also, we're going to also put in our PHP within these tags eventually as well. So the structure basically on HTML starts off with a head section. And this is going to include all of my meta data. And I'll just space down and close the head section here like this. Now, usually, what you'll find is meta keywords. You also will find the title of your web page, which is what appears on the top of the tab of a web page. So let's go ahead and do the just the title for this one. And I'll go ahead and call this one Echo Page. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that title tag um, with a closing tag here for title. All right, so that's all that will be in the head section for this lesson. Uh, we also will have a body section. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a body section. And the body section is going to include all of the content that appears on the web page itself. So right now, I currently have nothing in the body. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and save the page. So I'll do Control X. I'm going to do Y. And I'm going to go ahead and do Enter. Now my page is actually created. So if I do an LS, I can see echo.php. Let's go over to my web server. And this is the IP address of my Ubuntu machine, my web server. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and refresh that. And now I can see echo.php listed here. In fact, if I click on it, it'll open it up and there currently is nothing in there. So let's go back to our putty and into our web server. And I'll just run the command again, sudo nano echo.php, open it up. And let's go ahead and write our first little bit of uh, PHP code. Now I'm going to just start off by saying this is not from PHP because that is actually HTML up there. In order to do PHP, we're going to go ahead and open up the PHP tag. So it's going to be the less than symbol, question mark, and PHP. 
I'll space down to, and then I'm going to go ahead and close this PHP section. So I'll go ahead and do question mark greater than symbol. Okay, so that is our PHP area, and this is going to be located here in our HTML code. And I can go ahead now, and anything between this opening and closing PHP tag will all be PHP code, and it is not HTML. It'll actually error out if I type anything that is not for PHP. Like, for instance, if I said this is PHP, that will not work because there is no PHP function or any code going here that's, that's actually understanding what this means, this code that we typed in. So what I'll need to do is use echo. And this is a string, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in double quotes. And every PHP line ends in a semicolon for every statement that we have here within PHP. So this is now how we would do it in PHP. It's a little bit different than HTML, um, but as we continue to work on PHP and continue to learn some of the functions and the options that we have here with PHP, you'll see where PHP and HTML can differ quite a bit. So let me go ahead and save this. Control X, Control Y, Enter, and I'll go ahead and go back to my web page. And let's go ahead and refresh this. So I can see this is not PHP, and then I can see this is PHP. So what I'm lacking here is some break tags. Let's go back to our putty and let's go back to editing our page. Let's go ahead and throw in a break tag. So in a break tag in HTML it's real simple it's just we'll do the BR and do a space and it, it's self-contained so we don't need to have an opening and closing break. For PHP we want to go ahead and make sure that the break tag is echoed in with the string content. So I'm going to go ahead and do a space inside of the this is PHP and I'll do my break tag in here. So it's within the double quotes because we need to echo that back out to be read as a tag rather than a PHP code. All right, so if we want to do additional PHP, I could continue on multiple lines here, but I want to show you that you can also open up multiple areas of PHP. So let's just say I put in here some more content that is not from the PHP code. So let's just go ahead and do some more HTML here more from HTML. Now I will probably want to do a break at the end of this, so let's go ahead and do that. And I can again open up some more PHP here. So I'll open up the PHP tag and I'll go ahead and close the PHP tag and let's go ahead and echo out more from PHP. And then we'll throw in a break tag and I need to end that in a semicolon. So what I've done here is I've created an area of PHP here that's integrated inside of our HTML code and I've got another area here of PHP. I'll go ahead and control X, Y, enter. Take a look at my web page and I'm going to go ahead and refresh that and there we go. So this is working inside of HTML tags here within PHP.